Hi, I'm here with Robert, and uh, now we're going to continue with B for the idioms. Ora, before we start, um, I'd just like to mention Amici di Olivia, which is an association that helps uh, stray dogs, which are randaggi, here in Menfi, where we live in Sicily. Um, have a look, you know. Se volete aiutare, servono sempre cibo, coperte, uh, non è solo soldi, qualcuno vuole mandare i soldi, aiutare, sono 150 cani uh, che abbiamo preso dalla strada, centinaia di gatti, uh, quindi puoi anche mandare croccantini, perché po potete immaginare con 300 animali che i croccantini durano poco, coperte, cucce, there are a lot of things that we need, so if you want help, that would be brilliant. Um, un altro piccolo cosa, sempre in non-profit, uh, in Facebook uh, ci sono vari gruppi che aiutano con l'inglese, dove potete fare domande, eccetera. Uh, è uno che ho scoperto, um, che vorrei menzionare, perché è una delle pochissime che mi piacciono, perché perlomeno sono quasi tutti uguali, but it's called quello che le grammatiche non dicono. Uh, vo vo voglio menzionarlo. You like that title? That's Reagan. Eh? Very good. No, it's really fun. Yeah. It's good. It's è molto nel spirito mio anche come faccio io. Uh, you know, it's it's uh, it's fun, but uh, it's also uh, very informative. And uh, bravissima la ragazza che la gestisce. Allora. So, um I, they, they won't get confused now between these two. They won't be sending croccantini to quelli. Well, they might they might do, yeah. Grammatical yeah, sending grammatical yeah. questions to Amici <laughs> Olivia. Okay, so we're on B. Um, now the first one is bad blood, che sarebbe cattivo sangue. Davide è il nostro apporatore, ogni tanto ti chiedo, eh, uh, se cattivo sangue si usa in italiano, per fare cosa si usa? <laughs> allora, the, solitamente però bad blood we use also between, tra, between. Um, between preposizione tra due cose, uh, faccio un quiz a lui, perché tutti pensano che gli inglesi sono sempre pronti, sanno tutto della grammatica, no, assolutamente no, tu impari bene l'inglese e grammatica, ma poi vai in Inghilterra e dici, ma se gli inglesi non usano bene grammatica, so, uh, if, if it, it, qualcosa tra due cose in inglese, between, uh, now, my phone is between me and Robert, for example, Ma se sono più di due cose, what do you say? What do you use? Well, I would use among. Among. Giusto. I would use. Because the rest of us. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. Among. Among. Right. So, and we use bad blood tra. C'è cattivo sangue tra. Uh, example, Rob? I would say there's bad blood between me and my sister. Mamma mia, mm. che proprio sangue di famiglia poi. Uh, actually, that is, that is complicated, isn't it? There's bad blood between me and my ex-boss, for example. Because we had um, an argument in discussion. False friend. Bing, 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 yeah, bing, yeah, bing. Yeah. Io okay. faccio un alert quando c'è false friend. Yeah. False friend che è una parola che è praticamente uguale tra italiano e inglese, ma con significati diversi. Argument non è argomento, è anche argomento, ma solitamente è vuol dire litigine. Mm. If a couple have an argument, litigano. Um, mentre in America però dicono to fight. Mm. In inglese fight è combattere. Uh, Mike Tyson, uh, his fights mm. lasted, la, to last durare, lasted uh, 30 seconds, do you remember? The boxer. Yeah, cioè, yeah, giusto il tempo per arrivare all'altro yeah, yeah, era no. finito. Um, so, but, but in America, lit, un litigine is... Um, perché mi vengono... come, come si chiamano i punti? Lentigio. Lentigio. Mm. No, io volevo l'altro. Litigio. Litigio. Uh, sorry. <coughs> It's, I'm digressing. <coughs> okay, so litigine in America is a fight. The couple, we had a fight. I'm not talking to my... There's bad blood now mm. between me and my wife because we had a fight. In English, it's we had an argument. Which, ironically, in England, conoscendo le donne 
inglese usually ends up in a fight. Oh. Physical. In inglese, in Inglaterra, Inglaterra, hai sentito? Yeah. <laughs> Ogni tanto, quella bombetta lì che mi fa venire un po' al stadio. No, allora, uh, in Inglaterra, uh, uh, to have a fight with someone vuol yeah. dire fisicamente. Mm. In America è lit litigare uh, yeah. verbalmente. Yeah. Ok, would you say, lo diresti, would, condizionale, che sarebbe sempre in italiano, arresti, arrebbe, mm. no? He would come if you asked him. Uh, lui verrebbe. Ok, would you say, diresti, would you say there's bad blood between interisti and milanisti? So Inter Milan fans and AC Milan fans. Oh, definitely, yes. I think, really? I think there is, because they don't like each other. They don't. No, but, it, but, it's, but it's just a rivalry. Is it, would you say there was bad blood? Is that too much, do you think? Is it not in Toronto? Well, I suppose like, when you have football teams, they are naturally rivals, aren't they? Because yeah, but you support one team. But bad blood. Bad is blood is when you have two football teams which for some reason hate each other. They hate each other and there's always trouble. But oh, it's an odio finto, no? But it's not real hate. Um, I hope it isn't. I hope it's just sporting, you know, people enjoying sport mm. and not really being, you know, horrible. Uh, let's, hope, let's hope that is the case. Sai cosa? Yeah. Per dire questa cosa un po' più debole, c'è un modo molto bello in inglese. There's no love lost. Mm. If you want to say in a very uh, elegant way, si odiano due persone, you say, Put it this way, mettiamolo così, put it this way. There's no love lost between them. Non c'è amore perso tra di loro due. E vuol dire che non si possono vedere, però in modo yeah. calm. Uh, ok. Um, to bend, piegare, bend. To bend your ear. I, uh, 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 non, I, no, I don't even know how they pronounce it. Tanti e arro. Mm. Uh, boh. Anyway, ear, uh, ear, orecchio. To bend your ear, piegare l'orecchio. Mm. Can I bend your ear a minute, please? Vuol dire, posso parlarti uh, dei miei problemi solitamente. Yeah. No? I, need, I need to speak to you. Yeah, I need to, yeah, but it's normally like I have problems, isn't it? It is, usually, yeah, some delicate matter, something a bit sensitive. Yeah, let's pretend, pretend, mm. bam, 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 Ooh. false friend. False friend. Pretend in English, in uh, Italiano e fingere. Oh, yes, I'm the great pretender. Uh, sono il grande fingiatore. Pretending that I'm doing well. You should be doing the woo woo. -woo, -woo. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I was going to do that. I was gonna uh, echo. Woo woo. -woo. Echo. <laughs> um, fingendo che sto bene. But what's the next bit? Oh, yeah, I'm the great pretender. Ooh. Woo -woo. Pretending that I'm doing well. Woo woo woo. And then? Da, 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 da. Oh, vabbè, anche io posso fare da, 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 da. Oh, grazie, Robert. Uh, anyway, yeah. Good song. Good song. Because uh, to pretend fingere, mm. uh, pretendere in inglese is to expect. O no? Um, yeah. I expect, io pretendo che tu vieni. I expect you to I come. Expect you All to right. Come. Yeah. Which is similar to um, Aspettare, isn't it? So that's another false friend, isn't it? Uh, mm. If you say, I'm waiting for you. Aspetta. Uh, actually, that's, that's slightly different, isn't it? If you say, I'm waiting for you and I expect you to come, they're not exactly the same, but they're similar, no. aren't they? Mm. No. Well, uh, uh, there's, there's something interesting also about wait. In, for them, because uh, la preposizione, in base alle preposizioni, a volte la parola cambia in inglese. For example, uh, if I wait for, aspettare. Mm. But if I wait on, like Ooh. a waiter, oh, yes. that's servire, badare. That is. 
uh, for example, I had an argument, bing, 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 yep. with uh, a girl, obviously. Yep. Never argue with men. No. Uh, um, well, I don't, know, I don't know about that, mate. Uh, <laughs> and she said, uh, I'm sick of some stuff for Marchudi. I'm sick of waiting on you, hand and foot. Mamma mia, we're going into a yeah. hand and foot. Uh, to wait on someone hand and foot. A badare, serviri qualcuno, mano e piede vuol dire tutto. Ti lavo, ti, mm. ti stiro le cose, ti porta le robe. So she waits on him hand and foot. He's lucky, you know. Anyway, I'm, I'm, I'm not your servant, so I'm not waiting on you anymore. No, to wait on, servire, badare, to wait for, aspettare. Mm. Important difference. Yeah. So, Rob, uh, can I bend your ear, please? Okay. You see, Ooh, yes. you're right. Yeah. My, my yeah. wife uh, doesn't understand me. Oh. Because she's Polish. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha! Very good. Batuta. Batuta. Very good. Very funny. Polish. Pronuncia. Allora, homonof, homofono. In Italiano, perché è scritto uguale, o è a homograph? Uh, with that one. Polish and Polish. Okay, that one is actually, yeah, homograph. Actually, 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 actually bing, 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 bing. Actually, non vuol dire attualmente, vuol dire uh, veramente. Yeah. Ooh, that girl's nice. Do you know her? Yeah, that girl is, and actually, she's my wife. Ma, ma veramente è mia moglie, actually. Uh, mentre attualmente in inglese si dice currently. This is my current girlfriend. This, questa è mia ragazza attuale. We've got to find examples which are not girls, because otherwise yeah, yeah. they're going to think we're a bit. Do you know what I mean? We're just sitting here talking, talking about, about girls. girls yeah. Yeah. So um, anyway, you were saying, sorry. Okay. Uh, bend, we're doing bend your ear. So if you bend someone's ear, it means that you, you need to speak to them, but you want to talk about. Um, as John says, a problem or maybe something that you need. And so it's a way of introducing the uh, subject. So you say to the person, can I, can I bend your ear? Can I bend your ear? Uh, and then you say the delicate thing that you wanted to say. So for example, yeah, okay, you want to you wanna bend my ear. What is it? Yeah, very good. That's true. Allora, bite, <laughs> mordere, to bite your tongue, mordere la lingua, anche in italiano penso che è così, giusto? Devo mordere la lingua per non dire, mm, ok. Uh, listen, Rob. Mm, yes, John. Nah. If the boss starts insulting you, Just, you know, bite your tongue. It's not worth, it's not worth losing your job over, you know? So, it's not worth, non valsi la pena. How much is this telephone worth? Quanto vale questo telefono? Anyway, non vale la pena, it's not worth it. Yeah. It's not worth it, non vale la pena. Just bite your tongue, yeah. let him speak. Yeah. Can I just say something there? When you're eating, you know, sometimes you're eating yeah. and involuntarily you bite your tongue. Yeah, that happens. That is really horrible. That's it. really painful, isn't yeah. it? When you go, mm, yeah. and bite your tongue. Mm. Yeah. It's terrible. It's, it's terrible. Really bad, isn't it? Yeah, 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 yeah. Horrible, that, isn't it? Yeah. Terrible. Don't do that. We have, uh, we found a little puppy. Abbiamo trovato un piccolo cucciolo. Uh, and uh, she's very small. Mm. Dopo, uh, after, I'll show you, vi lo mostro questa, yeah, yeah. è bellissima. Yeah. But she's got, uh, piccoli denti come aghi, she's got little needle-like teeth. Mm. And I had her on my, ah, ecco, bite, modere, passato, bit, no? Past, mm. uh, simple, yeah. and then bitten, uh, past participle. Yep. Anyway, and she, was on my um, chest, and she bit my nipple. Oh. Oh. Really? Yeah. Oh. Mi ha mosso la capezzola. It was the most painful thing 
Oh my God. Stavo per insultarla. But I bit my tongue. <laughs> <laughs> Very painful. So you're talking about the puppy? Yes, the puppy. All oh, right, okay. The puppy. Just, yeah. just to Clarify. be clear. There. Yeah. yeah, she bit my tongue. It was painful. Yeah. Mamma mia, Rob. Anyway. Cioè, a volte scrivono nei commenti, in eh, uno dei primi che abbiamo fatto ha detto John è diventato troppo italiano, è vero, è vero. Mm. Cioè, mamma mia, ro Rob, Rob, <ride> my nipple! Allora. Doctor! <ride> uh, ok, to be above board. Yeah. Oh, tanti B. Above board. Above board. Did you, is there a relationship to ships, do you think? This is oh, That's that? interesting, isn't it? What? Above board. Okay, now here, this is an interesting one, yeah? Okay. First, let's explain the words, though. Okay, so yeah. Above, sopra, yeah. board. Above board. A board can be a piece of wood as yeah. well, can't it? It can be a piece of yeah. wood, but it, I think it's... Uh, forse viene dalla nave, questo idiom. It could, on board. On board. A bordo. Yeah. Pro sopra bordo. I don't think in Italian... Uh, it, sorry, carry on. Oh. Carry on, carry on, <laughs> carry on, <laughs> as if nothing really matters. And Freddie Mercury again. I'm great, the, uh, the great pretender. Freddie Mercury, è un dono per mm. insegnanti. Um, go on, carry on. Okay, so, um, if, okay, we'll explain first of all. If something is above board, it means it's legitimate. Yeah. That's the important thing. It's, Legal. it's legitimate. Yeah, it's not. Um, it's not wrong. Um, it, yeah. Legitimate. Maybe maybe it's more legal than legitimate. Well, ha let's have an example. So, if you right. said, for example, um, okay, I'm I've got a business buying and selling uh, second-hand cars. What's okay. that? Uh, the... uh, Macchine di seconda mano. But it's all legal. Everything is. Above board, right? Okay, everything is above board. There are yeah. invoices. Everything is transparent. Yeah. Yeah. So if you say in English that something is above board, the main idea is it's okay, it's not wrong, it's good. Um, now there is a similar expression. It's the opposite, which is below board. No, we're not. Okay. Can no, I say, this is one of those, yeah, this, no, this is one of those interesting things. One of those expressions in English where there's no opposite. So you can say above board, right. but in fact you can't say below board. But what we do say is if you buy something uh, in a shop. Iffy. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> no, you were going to say iffy. That's just no, well, no, it is iffy. I was going to say, if you buy something in a shop that you shouldn't be <laughs> buying or it's, there's um, some problem. Dodgy. Yeah, we say under the counter. Ah, sì, certo. What's under the sì, counter in Italian? Sì. No, un or under the table. Yeah, if you do something under, under the, the table or the table, a counter and a bancone. Yeah. Vuol dire um, in nero. In nero. Sì, uh, ti if I pay you under the table, ti pago in nero. Mm. Or ti if pago you... sotto il tavolo che non vedono. Or well, now, like for example, in the But wait, can I just explain yeah, very yeah. quickly iffy and dodgy? Because they, oh, yeah, yeah. But this these are point. English. In, in America, no. Yeah. Uh, with iffy, E F F Y, will be a dubioso. That's a very iffy, mm. iffy. proposal, mm. or, you know. Or dodgy as well. Yeah. Mm. Sorry. Karen. Dodgy. That's, that's a good word. Mm. Um, so, yeah, I was just saying. Um, what was I saying? David, what was I saying? <laughs> you were saying. <laughs> that uh, under the counter. Oh yeah, so, so for example, in the UK now, if you buy cigarettes, um, there is actually a law in the law, UK. Law, L mm -hmm. stadio O, mm -hmm. law. Scritto L-A-W, ma pronunciato law, legge. Yeah. Well, sorry, there's a law? So there's a law which says that cigarettes cannot be displayed Um, so if you go into a supermarket... To be, in, uh, to be displayed as yeah. a mostra. Yeah. yeah. If you go in a supermarket in the UK now, if you go to London, you will see people um, go into the supermarket to buy their cigarettes, and the shop assistant, they have like a cupboard. Got the, uh, yeah. 
They go and open the cupboard, they take the cigarettes out, and they bring them to the customer. And it's, it's like something illicit. It looks like, you know, some... Ah, um, se sí, sembra yeah. uh, illicit, illegale. So... Um, what, what, what's the point of that? What, what are you... It looks like they're, they're, they are literally under the counter. Even though it's, it, is, it is legal, it's still legal to buy cigarettes and sell them in the UK. Ok, però quello è but... fisicamente, letteralmente, da sotto il bancone. Mentre, metaforicamente... Uh, under the counter or under the table at in nero. Yeah. yeah. But we have to say, for, especially for younger people watching these videos, don't smoke. Oh. Don't smoke is no good for you. Okay, it's your choice, it's your decision. But don't, did I tell you, I stopped smoking. Well done. I stopped smoking. Oh, yeah. Don't smoke. You said wait for my phone, right? No, no, don't. Ever yeah, anyway. Okay, we're having, we're having an argument. Well, not really. <laughs> <laughs> I just... Uh, and now, we're going to fight. Is Go that on. how you fight? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like that. Put them yeah. on. And then, and then Put they all run away as soon as I do that. Yeah. Okay. Give me my cigarette. <laughs> I know Go that. On. To it's break not. the ice. Mm. Um, break the ice, rompere il ghiaccio. Uh, I... When I, uh, now Robert is the um, best business English teacher, infatti dovremmo poi fare delle lezioni su business perché in Italia non c'è meglio, veramente, non lo dico perché è qua, perché è vero, uh, predica tanto, però eh, su business è <laughs> Io però, when I teach uh, business English, uh, I, uh, one of the lessons I do is how to break the ice, no? Perché quando ricevono le persone dall'estero in Italia eh, non sanno cosa dire perché non si impara delle cioè if you say the normal things that people say like uh, how was your flight how is the weather in Germany che palle oh. mm. che palle ma che, che domande inutili cioè. poi how was your flight era un'ora come doveva essere mm. a Berlino a Milano cioè. quindi io ho messo in English al lavoro che è il libro che ho fatto per lavoro ho messo delle icebreakers, uh, delle cose carine, delle battute, eccetera, che poi, uh, to break the ice with mm. a colleague, you know? Because if you ask, how was the flight, how was this, how was that, you're not breaking the ice that way. You're just being very super formal. Non è più moda in realtà nel mondo dei lavori di essere troppo formale comunque. Um, so, yeah, that's it. Break, rompere the ice. È, uh, che è, la, è come il C, però è l'S serpente, come pronuncia ice. Uh, perché se era S mosca, z, it would be occhi. Eyes. Mm. Ice. Hai occhi di ghiaccio. How would you say hai gli occhi di ghiaccio? I would say he gave me an icy stare. Mm -hmm. uh, stare vuol dire fissare qualcuno. And that is actually another stare. false friend, isn't it? Because you have the stairs. No, it's not false friend. The scarlet. No, it's not false friend. It's a homopono. It's a stare. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah, it's a stare fissare. Mi sta fissando. Mm. He's staring at me. And the stairs, uh, scritte diversamente, però pronunciato uguale. Stairs, uh, uh, sguardi, uh, stairs, le scale. Up the stairs. Allora. So, where's Rob? He's upstairs. Eh, su della scala, vuol dire che è sopra. Um, where's my shirt? It's downstairs. È sotto. To be as clear as mud. I like this expression. I like this. Yeah. Uh, I like it. I use it a lot. Oh, um, you, someone explains something. Allora, vuol dire chiaro come fango. Um, so, shall we... Pretend that you know you make you know explain something yeah. to me and I'll and I'll and I will sarcastically okay. So you say, is that uh, right. chiaro? No, okay, right. okay. I'll be like uh, an official. Say, right, if you want to buy um, a lawnmower, lawnmower, minchia, you buy a sti parole, quello per lawnmower, taglia erba, taglia erba, lawnmower. 
Okay. If you want to buy a lawnmower. Michele, si vede che vive a Menfi adesso. <ride> non avrebbe mai usato questo esempio a Milano. No. Ok. Um, if you want to buy a lawnmower on our website, you will need... We haven't got a website. Right. Okay, just be clear because yeah. I'm going, oh. Yeah. oh. <laughs> There's an example. Yeah. I'm like the... È un esempio. I'm, yeah, I'm the uh, person from the lawnmower company. Okay. You need um, to fill out form A31 and send your money using um, the form B2 and then uh, you need to have a triplicate stamp. Okay, okay. Do you understand? Do you understand? Clear as mud. È, è una risposta un po' sarcastico, chiaro come fango. Clear as mud. Doesn't understand. No, I don't. I don't understand. I don't get it. È interessante anche understand e get come capire. What's the difference? Understand è più linguistico, solitamente è più linguistico. Uh, get è più concettuale. If, if I say to you, uh, for example, if the bananas are falling from the sky, we can run into the sea. Do you understand? You could say, Well, I understand, but I don't get what you're saying. Vuol dire, capisco le parole, ma non capisco mm. concettualmente che cavolo stai dicendo. It's as clear as mud. Clear as mud. Questo è B. Guarda. Yeah. E siamo arrivati a... Qua. How long, was, how long have we done so far, David? David? E co- quanto l'abbiamo fatto prima? Mamma mia, wow. già 27 minuti. Cioè, saranno, cioè questo, il corso di idiom sarà 30, 30, wow. 30 hours. Yeah, can I say it's 27 minutes, but we're having such a good time, it only seems like 25. Che, che questo vi anticipo un'expression che ci sarà yeah. più tardi. Speak yeah. for yourself. 